Hello, men, women, and our sorters, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Let's play Subnautica. Subnautica is a game you can get on Steam. I think for like 15, 20 bucks. It is an ocean survival game. Basically, you crash land on a planet that's pretty much nothing but ocean, and you gotta survive and find a way off the planet. Uh, Subnautica has been in development for several years now. That I've been keeping a track on its development for the last year or two, playing the early access and. Just a few days ago, the game went, you know, 1.0. It went out of early access, official release. So, I decided to celebrate with starting a new Let's Play. We're going to play through the game, play through the game story entirely. Not sure if I'm going to be able to show every single little thing off, but I will complete the story, you know, probably build a base, all that jazz. You know, there is base building, exploration, you know, survival aspects. Anyway, let's get into the game. Everyone knows that I'm better at showing things than I am explaining things. Uh, we're going to play on survival mode, which is, you know, basically, of course, we got freedom, which is, you know, you don't have hunger or thirst to worry about. Hardcore is one life only. Yeah, no. And creative is just creative. Anyway, let us begin the game. It looks like that ship is not looking very good. There is a you know, big hole in the hole that is that needs to be patched up. One of the engines is on fire, that's never good. Uh, looks like there's something going on on the other side of the ship. So yeah, from this image alone, something's gone horribly wrong. Or something's gone horribly right. Depending on which side you're on. Yeah, there's one thing about some Nautica. It has a pretty beefy loading time loading up, but once we get in, there are pretty few loading times. I think there's some texture popping, but other than that, the game runs pretty smoothly. And like I said, this isn't just pure Minecraft style survival. There is actually a story to this. Uh, and there is a definitive end to the game, so we'll be going through that entirely, like I said earlier. Because I'm an expert at repeating myself. Mainly because I need to fill the... Okay, it looks like we're done loading. Good. Press any button to continue. Attention. Known World's Entertainment. Uh, these are actually the guys who made the multiplayer game Natural Selection 2, by the way. So if you've ever played that game, uh, there are a couple of references to Natural Selection 2. And, you know, there might be some similarities you notice. Although these are Natural Selection 2, which I also own and have played. Is a completely different type of game than this. And... Good thing we got off that ship when we did. Although we didn't wait for anyone else. Hassle. Okay, someone should have secured that fire extinguisher. Why is everything breaking? Who designed this thing? Ow! My face. And thus we died. <laughs> I mean, seriously, could you survive taking a metal beam to the face? Apparently we could. And now our pod's on fire. Why is everything going wrong? And now this thing doesn't work. Come on! Thank you! Kinda need to not burn up here. Let's get the fire extinguisher. Yes, it's a nice fire extinguisher. Stop looking at it and start spraying. Okay. Hello. Booting in emergency mode. Nice. Loading. My boot up. Suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. Yeah, one thing about this game is it does have a bit of a has does have a bit of a sense of humor. To keep you alive on an alien world, please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. All right. Good luck. We've got a fire extinguisher. Let's do this. So yeah, first few minutes of the game, uh, we took a metal plate to the head. Our pod was on fire, and everything's broken. And this is the optimal outcome. He's also got three solar power cells, these power little lifeboat, secondary systems are damaged, need repair tool, we have a fabricator which we can use to make all the things. Fortunately we have no resources, so yeah, we need to find resources. Storage container, we've got some flares, some water, some nutrient blocks, got a med kit fabricator. Let's actually use that because we are injured. Radio, which is damaged. Uh, got blueprints, we can look at all the things we can craft. 
ingredients unknown. I love how it says ingredients unknown or filtered water when we have filtered water on the thing. Can we just look at that? Where are the instructions? Uh, beacon manager, we can see where beacons are. And we got, you know, just a voice log so we can review all that in our will. And then we got blueprints so we can actually have a data log. Um, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go through all and read all these. If people want me to, I can devote an episode to just reading shit, but other than that, it would take a lot of freaking time. Uh, I'm only going to read, like, logs and other important things. Like, you know. But I'm not going to spend all day reading all this unless it's relevant or not, because otherwise it's just pretty pointless. It's not pointless, it's just going to take the better part of an episode to do that. Oh, hi, creature. Hello there. I mean, it, it looks okay. I mean, it's got some fire. Suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. All right, well, those, does that mean I'm not human? Or can you not detect my life signs? I mean, other than the fact that it's, you know, on water, looks okay. Looks one piece. A lot of freaking water, though. What was this, Gen 3? And into the water we go. Hey, achievement! Getting our feet wet. Yeah, they added achievement uh, with the official release, so yeah. Probably should explain the HUD. On the bottom left, we have our O2 meter, basically how long we can stay underwater before we die from drowning. And then we got health, food, and water, you know, that kind of jazz. We can open our inventory to see the exact numbers. Uh, bottom of the screen is just our quick bar, so numbers 1 through 5. You can have items right now. We've only got the fire extinguisher, which, why am I carrying that? I should put this in the state pod. Don't need to be carrying around a fire extinguisher. If we have to defuse, if we have to deal with fires underwater, or something's gone horribly wrong. Hi, fish. Yeah, and we got our inventory. These are like our suit and other stuff upgrades. You know, flippers, gloves, air tanks, things like that. So. Let's start by collecting things. Uh, metal salvage. This is basically how we're going to get uh, Seagull. We need to be able to scan her. Uh, break line snow. I shall. Ooh, titanium. Nice. Hmm. Oh, run away. Yeah, those things explode. But the things they have in their nests are actually very valuable. So it's actually a little lucky we found one. Yep. Cave sulfur. It's actually very lucky we found that and didn't die. Oh, I'm running out of O2. And I also found. Yeah, controls are WASD move. We can use shift to go up and down. Uh, sh actually, shift to go up and C to go down. And of course, you can just also just move the mouse free look in any direction. Oh, I'm hungry. Come here, fish. New creature discovered. I discovered a creature by picking it up. New creature discovered. Let's discover all the creatures. Ooh, more metal salvage. Nice. And more limestone. Ooh, copper. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely and plausible. <laughs> Great. So we found copper. That's actually going to be a resource that... Copper is always a resource I have trouble with, even later in the game. Because, you know, you can only get it to him. Yeah. Anyway. Ooh. We can cook some food. Let us cook some food because we are very hungry. Mm, peeper. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus <laughs> rendering them safe for human consumption. All that with a little sculpting creature, with these little sculpting lasers. Accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Thank you. Okay, and metal salvage turns into four titanium, so that's a good way to get titanium, especially early game. Let's actually eat some food, so... Mmm. Eat the animals. And we got new blueprints from doing so. Okay, we've got some resources. Let's see what we can make. Uh... Tools. 
Um, need batteries. We can make a standard O2 tank, which gives us a little more O2, as it says, so... And we can make the high-capacity O2 tank now. Okay, so we need silver to make that. Basically, gives us even more. So now we have an additional 30 seconds of air. Can't really make anything else particularly useful at the moment. What we need to do is... I'll stuff this stuff in the chest for now, and... What we actually need to do is make a couple of batteries, so we can actually start making some power equipment. Luckily, there are some acid mushrooms here. And no, we're not going to eat the acid mushrooms. The trip that we get on is not very fun. I'm going to use them to make batteries. Another one of those things. Ow. I only took a little damage, but I still took damage. Now there's a crack in my visor. Okay, it's gone. What in the absolute... That spawned funny. Oh. Sulfur deposits in the local what in the absolute hell? Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Okay. That was weird. Yeah. Just because this game is fully released doesn't mean there are still not probably some oddities. Ooh, a bladder fish. Discovered. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Yay, I am doing proven survival stuff. I need more copper. And you can see we've got a beacon back to the uh, life pods. So we can afford to go a little distance away, just not too much. Now let's see if we can make I think we can actually have enough copper to make a couple of batteries, which allows us to make a couple of power tools. Which would be very nice. Very nice indeed. Hey, we can make filtered water by using bladderfish. Huzzah! Where's that last blueprint we got? Hello. Oh, air bladder. There we go. We can also make glass with two quartz. Add it. Nope. No. Like no. misclick, but I think we could probably use that. And as you can see, using the fabricator it does consume some power. Oh, this does regenerate slowly on its own. So make power cells now by making a battery, which is just two batteries and some rubber. Yeah, let's make some filtered water, because we need some water. And you can actually make some tools, so... Let's make a scanner. This is going to be one of our best friends. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Basically allows us to do things. Find new struck blueprints, like learn some information about the wildlife, all that stuff. Let's also make a flashlight, because it does get dark at some points. Alright. We can do a self-scan, too. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Yay, we're all normal here. We've also got a flashlight. Hey, don't point the thing in your eye, you moron! Trying to blind yourself? Okay, what do we need to make next? The next thing I do want to make are the repair tools. We can actually fix this thing and the knife. So we need silicon rubber for both. And we need creeper vine for that. Thankfully, that's relatively close and it's dark out. Let's scan the whole fish. Yeah, basically, this just unlocks new database entries on the uh, various things. And like I said, I will not be... Well, actually, what I could probably do is... You know what? Yeah, I'll do this. I'm going to very quickly go to each thing and leave its description on screen. If you want to read it, pause the video. 
and read it on your at your convenience. Yeah, not everything has pictures. Okay, enjoy the little reading? No? Alright. Alright, let's get back to it. Rabbit Ray. Come here, I want to scan you! No. Beeper, come here, I want to scan you. Yeah, welcome to Subnautica. Scan everything. Table Coral. Good to know. Detecting increased local radiation level. That's not good. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet four. Yo. Uh -oh. That's not good. I do not want to be peeing green, if that is all possible. Let me scan you! Doesn't even look painful! Just a ray of light. Why can't I scan you? Oh, there we go. Scan all the things! Daytime out again. Let's get some silicon rubber, which we can actually get from collecting some seeds from over there. Rain coral. Which brings out bubbles of water that we can use to fuel our air supply underwater. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. Give me your air. Why do I keep bumping into these things? Ow! Very rude, good sir. That's a limestone chunk. Doesn't look like it, but alright. Take your word for it. More cave sulfur. Take that quartz as well. And you actually, I think you actually go faster if you don't have a tool in your hand, so... Shuttle bug. Yeah, there's actually some good flavor text in the, um... Actually, flavor text and useful information in the, um, database, but again, I can't read it because of time. It would take way too much time to read everything. How much do you 
can you just look over again? Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Recommended, but not required. That guy doesn't look that friendly. We provide seeds. We got a new blueprint. Ooh, we can make a lubricant. Salvage. And some acid mushrooms. Where am I going? Where's my life pod? There it is. Hello, birds. Or alien birds. glide fragment. This is how we get blueprints. We scan fragments of things, we scan enough of them, we get a new blueprint. And the sea glide is a very useful thing we can get. I need to get more food and water. But first, it's time to craft some more things. Ah, I should have grabbed one more. I can make fins. Ah, oh, well, let's make a knife for now. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Braxis Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Yeah, and this is basically one thing about Subnautica. No guns! You get torpedoes and a knife. That's about it. I mean, I know the intention is to create a survival instead of just, you know, cooperating with the environment rather than just conquering it, but I would have liked at least a spear gun or something. Some sort of ranged option. Other than the, um, stasis like what we get later in the game, because some of these creatures are just a pain in the ass to deal with. And while you can ignore them, yeah, sometimes it's very hard to. And we also got a repair tool. Nice. Why are you poking all the things that don't need to be poked? Oh, well, let's repair our ship. And we've turned the lights on. Diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Ooh, we get an environment scan. Leviathan class predators, great. Contaminated with foreign bacteria. No, doesn't hit us yet. Let's pair our combo right too. What oh, message? Oh, only nine hours. I don't know why I kept repeating, but nine hours. Nice. Alright, so. We've got some tools. We crashed on the planet. We got some tools. We can see our ship over there. We got ourselves a knife, scanner, flashlight, repair tool. We fixed our light pod. Got our radio online. I think this is a good place to call it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to continue our exploration of the area. Probably get some more water so we can, you know, survive longer. Uh, maybe get some food. And then, after that, continue... I don't know, just continue looking for things. Seeing what we can find, building what we can build. That sort of stuff. But anyway, until next time, I'm going to some later. Pick my controller and have a good time. Peace out, peoples.